This plaque is given to every home that's over 100 years old. Christopher Satterfield is in the process of renovating this historic pink Victorian style home in the Dixieland neighborhood of Lakeland. This is the original wraparound porch, but we're, we're going to put it back to just natural wood and stained. But more importantly, he's restoring it to its former glory. Trying to decorate the house to the period. It's a house he and his son had admired and then learned it was for sale. George Lowe is the voice of Space Ghost. He's a very famous voiceover guy. He's selling it. it. used to belong to his mom. His mom passed away. And it's been, you know, derelict, abandoned for about two years now. And at the signing, uh, George Lowe gave me the original abstracts. He goes, here you go. And, you know, we're looking through them and we see it's Henry Plant, you know, who owned it, you know, who bought the land and, and, and the house. This is showing a lot of the land well, Mr. Plant brought the railroad to Tampa back in 1884 and established a string of hotels, railway lines, and steamship lines and really opened up Florida um, to the north. Christopher reached out to the curators at the Henry B. Plant Museum in Tampa. And he said he had just purchased a property and had heard rumors that it was the Plant Fishing Lodge. And so, of course, our eyes lit up and we wanted to hear more about it. We had correspondence, I sent her some pictures and they were very interested, you know, and excited. We had seen a deed that Chris shared with us and um, it indicates that it was owned by the South Florida Railroad. You can see directly where the train station used to be and where the railroad was. And they believe that he either, you know, barged or canoed across and then this was his fishing lodge because he was an avid fisherman, he was an outdoorsman. He could have. Um, we do know that Plant loved fishing, and each one of his railway resorts, he had eight of them in Florida, they all had a fishing component. And the house and museum share some common details inside. And one is the fireplace here. This is all hand-carved mahogany here. So, just like in the, in the museum. Well, the fireplace tiles certainly look very, very similar to a lot of the fireplaces in the Tampa Bay Hotel. Mr. Plan established the hotel here in 1891, and there were over 500 rooms with fireplaces all hand carved out of Cuban mahogany wood with um, unique tiles in each one. And it was um, fun for us to, to learn more about the property and, of course, hope that Henry Plant did have a connection to it. We haven't found anything um, documentation wise in our archives yet. But I say yet yeah, because we're always adding more material. When you think this was all hand carved. Christopher is anxious to add new chapters to the story of this old house and piece together its past. You don't know who walked through those doors. Presidents, uh, dignitaries, you know, who, who knows who was here. But to have something which is like in a historical monument for them, for this area, everybody's just super excited. We hope that it goes on many years for others to enjoy and maybe possibly one day it'll be a museum.